We have Sky on defense. Let's see what you, what we do here. Uh, plat 2, if I remember correctly. Um, Vinny said, I think it was plat 2. So let's see what, uh, what happens here. Wait, I... I literally lost one button on my keyboard. I don't know where it is. When I when I dropped my headphones. What do you say? Uh, Time to I, I, find it, I find it later. Okay. All right. Uh, first, what do you buy on pistol round? You went for a ghost and heal. So, first things first. First, I do think that this buy is not optimal. And here are my thoughts. All right. So. When you're playing on defense, you don't have the ability to dictate the tempo. And heals are not a tempo play, because you need to find a time and place to use it. And also, the teammates who get damaged, they need to be out there, get a gunfight, and go back. That's not happening in ranked. So, for a for a pistol round, I would never go for a heal. It's a, it's a, it's a, a utility that you might not use or use in an inefficient way, while the two other pieces of utility that you have, so either flashes or the dog, are way more proactive and give you more value and also can get you kills. The heal will never get you kills, right? Like, that's it. And it also requires other people to take damage. And you cannot do this for yourself. In my eyes, never buy it in pistol round. Go for anything else. Anything else but the heal. Been flashing one, any noise? Yo, um, I'm gonna make a... I'm gonna make a video about pistol buy rounds. And like, what to buy on each character on pistol round. I, I can heal you, I can heal you. And also, by the way, I just realized that you also have Sage in your team. Another reason to not buy heals. And you also have Phoenix. Who can heal himself? Just just saying. KJ man, Brimson. KJ man. You would have like this is I know this is like easy to say when you're not in gunfight, right? But look how you um, you have the habit right now of crouching. Look. See, you crouched right here. But in general, in my opinion, when taking those gunfights, you are in perfect opinion to isolate and get into a 1v1s. So you have a good swing on the bridge. You see the killjoy, right? So in my eyes, the best play is instead of crouching in that moment, moment is going left and hiding from the killjoy so you isolate into the 1v1 because then you have a chance of killing both going one for one is like okay but it's not in my opinion the winning play right so instead of crouching down here moving left behind the cover here to isolate the angle and have only breach in your sights is much more efficient and should be your habit. This is why I always try to explain how important it is to have the exclamation mark duels in your blood. It's something that you need to have in your blood, specifically also for pistols, because for pistols, you're very accurate while moving, so there's even less point in crouching. But if you crouch against pistols who are like semi-auto, right? Actually, they're not auto, they're just like... just. How do you call it? Anyway, they are like single bullets, right? You're gonna get killed. Hey, In, hey, the, hey, the, hey, the moment you stop moving, you get domed. It's the same that I'm always enemy. saying about like never crouch against a sheriff, right? One enemy remaining. All right, let's see. So, full by round, you go for martial, full flash. equipment, okay, and small armor. So, I, I don't like this at all. Let me explain again. Um, you bought a gun that the job of the gun is to hold an angle. But instead of holding an angle, you went for flashing for info and pushing forward. So your gun is completely like out of place of what you should be doing right now. 
right? And you now you're gonna be at a disadvantage position because you're pushing with the marshal, right? So it's like if you plan on doing this, <laughs> dude, it's crazy. <laughs> it's the the fact that Astro didn't communicate how she died is actually crazy. She had a vandal, by the way, but he also reacted very late. Like, you should never actually pay attention to Seelong. You should always be next to the Astra because she had a Vandal. And that Vandal is always our objective. And you get fucked because of the decision that you made in the beginning of the round. See? Okay, fade here, so open door. Like, what happened here is you trusted in your teammates who are morons. Okay. Right? This guy pushing into an eco on round 2 after he walled, he's a moron. He threw, the, he threw the round, single-handedly. But now, you have to compensate for this guy over here. This guy is throwing the round. And your Astra is pushing out Seelong into this position to compensate for this guy. But you, instead of going with the Astra, who has a Vandal, right? So it's like, even from a more selfish point of view, you want to go with him. You went back to check if someone is on C. At this point, it's like... You don't need to hold the C. If they plant on C, it's okay. Like, you're gonna retake. But you have to be with this guy and try to get kills because that's how you compensate for this guy who pushed over that wall. This is Sage. Right? Okay, fade here. That, that's the way that you need to play that round. How did we sell that so Spike hard? planted. Careful now. In retrospect, I should have come checking door, so just gone with him. Like yeah. Into. I mean, communication is key in many, many things, right? But, like... Back <laughs> But in general, like you buying the marshal and then pushing long first second because you have your sky flash checking is like also not benefiting last anything guy. for you, right? Like, yeah, last guy to be seen <clears throat> oh my god, thank god I didn't see this because this was terrible. Alright, so... No way to splat? What do you mean? This looks like immortal anyway. The same shit is being done in immortal. Pushing uh, round two against an eco, dying, giving them guns, not communicating, and not having any idea about map control. This shit is literally immortal free uh, playbook. Stunned A, flash. Oh, I, I forced. Wait, 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 why did you force? Why, why did you force? Because the sage forced? I mean, the, I mean... Autopiloted here? Yeah, well, that's a problem. But you know, but you know it's a problem. So now, your job is to not die this round. So, if you realize you made a mistake like this, right? If you realized you made a mistake like this, mistakes happen. But the way that you should play, you should adjust your mindset. And this round is you try to play safe, even though you have a gun. Because you're gonna lose most likely this round. And you most likely, unless you get lucky, you will have to save it. So be in a position, don't put yourself into positions where you can get fucked. Like here. <laughs> like you... <laughs> See, like you're standing here. You can't go left. You can only go right. And you are fucked. Because you put yourself out in this position. Right? So, like, it's not even about his reaction speed, my friends. Because... He, like, the smoke here, you can literally see how leaking smoke from the attackers gives them an advantage. So you get fucked because this guy just swings and he gets info out of the prowler and you get outplayed. And in general, when you play on A, try not to stand in position like this. Try always to stand in a position where you can get cover. So standing behind the wall here is better. Standing behind wall here is better. Standing in tube is better. Standing in uh, underneath the rope is better, or even on the rope. But drop not on a character like Sky because you can uh, you can never get out, right? And even like if you commit to tree, my mindset is: if you commit to tree, just stay tree. If you're getting pinched, well, you try your best. You try to get multi kills. Where is my you know. Phoenix, bro. Why did you just walk up? All right, and Same. another thing. Let's let's just, you, you made the mistake with the buy next round, last round, right? And your teammates will now. Oh wait, why? Two other people also forced. Oh my god, this is fucked. But in a, a, anyway, if you would be the only person that made the mistake of forcing when it shouldn't be, the best option for the next round is to play the judge. It's it's a gun. 
that feels like a full buy. It's limited, of course, when it comes to the uses, right? But you can compensate for that with a good mindset and having to just play with a judge up close. You can go to three, you can hold three and A side, you can play on B side, although I quite literally don't want to play on b side with judge because you can get pinched from b link right but playing c or a3 is a good position to play with a judge and that counts for me in my in my mind playing with a judge feels and counts as a full by round and right now you have two people forcing two other people are not forcing it's absolutely fucked and now the only way of compensating this is like communicating please 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 half buy this round for the love of god please half buy because if people will not align the entire game is fucked unless you randomly win a round your sage is absolute fucking dog poop griefing cunt by the way dying in front of b again you can't make this shit up gonna flash out try and dodge they're taking tree taking hey let me look at this first try and dodge any reason why you're making a flash on the on the bottom like i don't think there's a reason to flash like in a straight line like this i would always like to like flash higher to come to like have the ability of flashing people like maybe you know having a bit, bit of a different angle right because you flashed in a straight line like this maybe you didn't want to control it let me let me rewatch I'm gonna flash out, try and dodge. No, but you stopped moving. So, wh one thing. When you play Sky and you just press the, 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 uh, press the bird, right? You press the bird and you just let it fly. You remember that you can already, already move. This is one of the things that you have to be, like, efficient. You can already move while flashing. It's very important. Sorry. While the, like, if you just press E and it goes out, through, right? Like this. You can be out of that smoke, right? And I understand you didn't know that there's a smoke in front of you because the Phoenix doesn't communicate. But in general, it's one of the things that people who play Sky should be very aware. And also remember, when you play Sky, very important is to know that when you Sky Flash, you don't have the animation with the hand anymore. Right? You don't have this the hand animation. So what you can do is literally pop it the moment you're flashing through a corner, right? So it's like, I flash like this, and I'm ready, right? The equip time of the gun is worse now when you flash, like it takes way longer, right? So you need to learn, the, you need to learn how to time the flash with your gun before you peek. This is why it's better to like do long, flashes like this and remember when you're not controlling it your gun is faster ready is ready faster so one of the in my opinion one of the most important skills when using a sky is learning to not control the bird to knowing how the bird will go when you're not controlling it because that equips the gun way faster if i do something like this Look how, how long it took for me to actually flash this. But if I do something like this, I am much faster. Because the gun already gets equipped the moment I press E. Like, sorry, press mouse 1, I, I leave it, and I can flash while having the gun already being... Like, I can literally flash the moment I'm firing, or even after firing, you know? And it's one of the most important skills for, for skies to learn. And remember, guns with fast equip time, if you ever play a pistol with Sky, I would never go for Sheriff. I would go for Ghost because they are fast equipped. They're taking tree, taking tree. Heal up, squad. I can heal you. Watch up, tree. Uh, in a situation like this, fuck him. Don't heal him. You can be pushed any moment. You should be watching an angle. When he goes behind you and asks you for a, for a heal, do that. Focus on yourself and and holding Thank an angle. Go. Oh my god, this thing is just fucking Let ulted. Link. Link Open door again. By the way, he fully himself, fully healed himself right now. Neon's still here. 
Good lay, good lay. Lazy check on the left, by the way. Lazy, lazy. You lazy checking all the angles, by the way. A Phoenix using an ult in a 4v5, you can make this shit up, by the way. Enemy spotted C. 30 seconds left. Spike planted. Last player standing. Hey. Oh, well, that's unlucky. That's unlucky. I think you moved the mouse a little bit. Ah, the crosser was just... Huh? Shooting error? I think she crouched? What happened here? 0 0.25 shooting error. I think it's just above the... Uh, above the... Uh, the hitbox. Like, she just moved her head a little bit, and the, the hat doesn't count as a hitbox, because it shouldn't, right? So you just literally aim a little bit too high. I think that's what happened. Oh, unlucky. Unlucky, my friend. How did I miss that? <laughs> that beanie was dead, for real, for real. <laughs> we have plenty of time, Mo. Yeah. First bullet at Chrissy? No, he literally has first bullet at Chrissy on the screen and it says 25 degree, 0 0.25 degree um, in accuracy, which is perfectly fine standing still. That's the lowest you can go. So it's not first bullet in accuracy. We have, for that, we have the shooting error on the screen. Good job. He's done nothing but push out and like give him any stray insult, whatever. And still win this, it's anything. <laughs> Man, I am low on the kill side, bro. It's another key, play for me. Stunned A. Yeah, but your flash, look look at the minimap. It's another key, play for me. Your flash is like. Not very efficient. I know this is very nitpicky, but when you when you control the flash, try flashing over here, like deeper even than this, right? Because the way you flash it is like it, the angles are not really good because someone who crossed already, because they could cross, right, will be flashed behind them instead of in front of them. You want to always explode like at the wall over here so no one can be ahead of the flash. Blinded. Stunned, eh? Flash. Reload him. I just so deep. Oh, I'm just playing. Flashing this. rubble, by the way, if you ever play against a jet race or maybe neon as well, I feel like you want to flash behind rubble over here. Like maybe somewhere even like here, you know, like in this angle. Because you want to flash people who are like first tempo uh crossing to rubble. That would be my uh, my impression as well. You still get confirmation that they are there, right? And you're not doing anything with the flash, but at least maybe they will get pressured to use some utility that they shouldn't have. Because I feel like, oh no, we can get pushed. Because if they, if you flash like this and they're already rubble, they get half flash, so they don't feel any pressure. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, that's one of the worst things you can do. You always feel like a moron when you do this. So, remember, when you're walking, the direction doesn't change your speed, right? So always look to the, the, into the direction of the potential uh, threat. And when you're rotating as the last one, always have your gun out. So right? it's lurking. Hey. You should run. Like, you never want to die like this, because it always has a... F uh, it's like, it feels like, oh my god, I have fucking fucked myself right now, big time. Yo, those, those teammates are incredible. <laughs> Man, I, like, I feel like my blood is boiling right now. I've seen both Ethan and Fake Ananas do flash behind rubble. Good for them, they're smart players, so...
Yeah, makes sense, right? Whatever, I'm still doing bad myself, so. Blinded. Blast team, man. This is another thing. Look. You're playing in a in a position right now. I'm not saying that this this is something that you should have done this round, but I feel like this is just a general advice that I feel like many people could use when playing this guy. It's like you can do so many fakes. Like, let's say you're standing at the barrier and you can make a lineup for the flash. I'm not joking, right? So wait. Let me let me um let me do this. So we're standing at the barrier, and you want to create a lineup for the fl for the flash to be impactful, right? So we want the flash to explode like somewhere here. I'm sure there's a way of doing that with a lineup. Let me check. See, here we go. So what I can do is I just aim. Let's see how this looks. No, it's not good. Actually, right. That is pretty decent as well. Look, I do this. It's delayed and then goes up and I can explode it on top, right? So it will flash the people, most likely, you have to test it out, but you, you probably will be able, that is too high, you will be able to flash all the people in main, that is also too high. Um, that is also too high. So you aim for this. Right? And look at this, what I can do right now. I am able, like, you either do this, right, this flash, that is like, above, or you do this flash, right here, right? <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> so you have a lineup for this, and you will push, right? Because it will scare people away. So you do this, and you don't like you just press it once, right? So when you do this, you're able to take space while pushing people away. And you're able to like go further and they will never expect you already here. Right? Because you are moving already forward while the bird is active and is creating pressure and you will be able to flash them when they are in main and you buy yourself some time, essentially. Right? And they get popped here. And you're already behind mound, you can reposition here. And then when you're here, you can do this. And you can already shoot. Right? Look. Actually, you can do even that. Look at this. When you're standing here, you just aim at the wall. The bird goes here. And you can fully flash. Right? So you do this. Like, you have to learn the timing. I, I'm not a sky main, so I, I don't have the timing. But you can literally flash. And you're gonna... was already able to, sh to shoot. See? Because you never control the build. You just let it go. Let it go! See? See this? This is something that I do think, if you're a, a one-trick pony on Sky, one-trick tiger on Sky, you need to be this fucking guy who abuses this mechanic. You know? Like, that's something that people just... I, I never see in ranked. I never see this being used by any Skies in ranked. And I don't see it in, 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 in pro play as well when I think about it now. Fade Lear, can I get a smoke? Concealment. Was that too early? Time to hunt. What the fuck is Face G, man? Your fear. So it seems like a CP spear. Seek them out. Mm, okay, you got the kill. So the old thing this is like they didn't commit yet, so you didn't gain much, right? Like, if you would be 5v4, or maybe, like, still trying to defend side, I would say this ult was nice, but you had no one on side, so no one could use this ultimate. Nah, good control. I really like the way that you played this. Really like the, the way that you played this, because it... it uh, because it, 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 you were, like, not panic at all. Good movement. Oh, 
remember the lower the rank right the lower the rank the more time to aim you have like at iron you should never be full like outing you now. should al always be bursting because those motherfuckers only spam and they miss like 60 percent of the bullets anyway so whenever you get like pushed like this right the paranoia is like oh my god we're getting fucked here learn counter spelling I have an um, uh, entire episode on Lotus Lab about that. It's, it has Counterspell in its name, so you can find it. I can't remember the exact episode, but you can definitely find it. Counterspelling is making sure you, you can try to push away the utility from your teammates, from your opponents. So your opponent is using Paranoia. Then after that Paranoia, you use your Flash. Just use it. Just fucking press it and flash people just to make sure you're not being pushed in that moment. Because right now, you had no defenses uh, uh, against this paranoia. Pay attention. By the way, this 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 sage is just full in thing. So right here, right? Right here, your reaction should be you get paranoia, you flash here. That's it. And by the way. You're not gonna flash yourself because you're blinded. You don't see the fucking flash if it's far away from you. But it will affect the opponents who will not push you now. So there's no yeah, chance of you dying too. while you're being affected by the paranoia. So you essentially counter that paranoia push, right? What the? Yeah, see? Like, that guy TP'd when that paranoia was up. And where do you even come from? I didn't hear him teleport. <laughs> See, because you were paranoid, right? And he TP'd when you were paranoid. But maybe he would have not done that when he was blinded. Maybe he would be blind to not make a perfect TP, right? So all of that I'm shit, it, it, it makes an effect, right? That you don't even think about, but it can deny potential plays from the opponents. And even though, right? Like in ranked. Don't trust your fucking teammates in anything. Just play for yourself. Tr try to play in angles that you can cannot gay, uh, cannot get, <laughs> cannot get flanked for no reason. Try to avoid those angles. So maybe playing that A main doesn't work for you because the Phoenix, um, the Phoenix doesn't like do anything impactful. Has no, absolutely no idea how to push away people and how to play his position. Maybe just play stairs yourself, right? Adjust for it. Or just don't count in the Phoenix doing anything for you, so you should just play for yourself. Blinded. Flashy, man. This is a very good example of... Smoke? You there? Of example of how efficient would be that bird that I did, right? Well, my fault. Blinded. Like, right now, right now, this, this those flashes, I, I don't think the second flash was necessary at all. Like, it doesn't give you anything. Right? It doesn't give you anything. That's that's the main issue with this flash. By the way, I, I'll do the subs there. after the game. I'm sorry, guys. Jamie and Fubista. After we're done with this VOD. Because right now, for the defense, you don't have the flashes when they are needed. Right? And the only thing that the second flash gives you is to give info that they are still there. Doesn't really change anything, no? But instead, you could use your flash, you could use your flash to stop that execute, right? Or push away people from during that execute. So it's like, other than that, you played your best when you could from waterfall, but all of that was because you were in a position that you got fucked, right? You were in that position because you had no flashes, you had nothing to do to like reposition yourself when that execute is happening. What? See that. thank you so much for the 37 months. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you so much for the continuous support. And why, Jamie? I'm. Thank you very much for the prime first time ever subbing. Unfortunately, something crapped with my sub, so I cannot show you on screen your name. But if you could introduce yourself to us, I'll be absolutely splendid. Thank you, my friend. All right, what do I have here? Uh, wait, 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 
Just to buy a Vandal here. Play one, one flash. Buy a Vandal. That's more important than a secondary flash. That's, this is definitely a late rotate. This will work. Dog. The gun is more important on than the one flash. Yeah. Probably going to see. I think you're going to be in our spot over here. <laughs> <laughs> Your teammates are really fucking clueless. Like, holy shit. Also, this flash doesn't really, really give you any real estate, right? You want to flash in this point to make sure that this cover is also here. Like, you're flashing for info. So you want to have info if someone already pushed deep here. If you flash like this, you don't know if someone is standing here. Right? So, yeah. That's just a small note. And right now, I really, 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 really dislike those two flashes. Now you have zero stuff to anti -site. You have to take... You have to take a little bit of, of a risk. Right? Like... Use one flash before you go. And I would use that flash in the spot where I want to go. So I use here one flash to check this, and then I use the second flash to go site. When you use both flashes for just info, like you have nothing to enter the site with to make the actual retake, which is the more important aspect. Yeah. Turn top that box. Can get over here? Ugh. Yeah, you're getting fucked. I mean, why is Ray so late, bro? Unlucky. Unlucky. That's about it. You have to destroy the turret. She peeks in a correct position and a correct timing. Match point. You're going to scatter from my stuff. Super easy to pick off. That's fine. But any. You're, you're endangering yourself, by the way. You, you've seen this, right? You peaked you peaked with the sky flash. No need to do that, right? Start, fig start figuring out, if you want to sky OTP, start figuring out those lineup flashes at the beginning of the round. Like, those lineup flashes will make you so much more efficient. That flash again, like, look. You're using it for info, and also that info is very, very... Narrow. You exploded here, so the info you get is like this. But again, you have no flashes whatsoever. So it's like, I feel like in most cases, you are actually playing Sky as a Sova. I'm not sure if I like that. Like, you are not playing in an aggressive way as a Sky. Also, this, this Killjoy turret was just awful because it wasn't pay paying attention to its back. I'm sorry. <laughs> Unlucky. But it's like when you flash here, right? Always try to curve it on the right side because that's how you want to make space for yourself when you enter, right? So the ideal position of the flash is at the dot here because it flashes this and it flashes this. Right? Like this. All of those angles are flashed if you pop it pop it here. But also like remember that you just use the flash to not go in because your plan was to use the tiger first. Sorry, to use the tiger second. If you use the tiger second, keep your flash. You don't need it. Like use use the doggo, get the info, and then you know what to do with the flash. Sounds man, sounds man. Someone can be still on your right. <laughs> uh, see, like, you left C for such a long time, they can be anywhere on the map. So you literally forgot that you were in that position, right? You, you, you can get killed here. So that's on you. Ten seconds left. Spike planted. Come on, let's go. Because it, it was your C, right? Is he winning this clutch? No, he's not. 
All right. Well, no point in watching this because he lost. Uh, so final notes. I think my mindset of you playing the sky is focused on too much helping the other players from your team, even though they are not helping you. And you're using your sky flashes way too much for informations instead of fighting. You don't use your sky flashes also to deny pressure. Like you don't use them mid mid execute to stop and execute. You don't use your dog uh, in the moments when you should be using the dog because instead you use the flash. That's something that I have seen a few times. And you are like controlling the sky flash when you don't need to, and you're not controlling it when you actually need to control it. That those are my my impressions from you playing sky right now. So it's like first and foremost, focus more on yourself. Don't focus on helping the teammates. You can play Sky more selfishly, and you're gonna win more games if you're gonna start playing like this. Because in this game, I literally seen so many rounds when you die because you trust your teammates to do something instead of just focusing on yourself. And you lose angles, by the way, many times because you try to heal someone or flash for someone else. When you didn't have to. Like, they didn't ask for it. They, 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 stuck, they, they just played like morons or something, you know? So it's like you lose angles because you try to play correctly, but you're not going to play correctly because your teammates will fuck you over. So that would be my imp those would be my advice here right here. And also start learning those lineups from the barriers of the flashes that you don't have to control. They're going to min-max the shit out of your out of your initial positions, like the one that I showed you on A main. Anyway, thank you very much for sending the vote. Hope you enjoyed this and learned a little bit from it.